Toy Story 4, directed by Josh Cooley and written by Rashida Jones, Andrew Stanton, Will McCormick, and Stephanie Folsom, starring Tom Hanks, Tim Allen, Annie Potts, and a whole slew of stars, was a film, honestly, that I was not looking forward to at all. As a massive Toy Story fan, it was the first film I saw in theaters. I have a lot of opinions on Toy Story, as it has meant so much to me growing up. So of course I was one of those people who said, why does this need to be made? And made the really, really original reference, Toy Story 4, The Quest for More Money. And after seeing the film, I really enjoyed it and felt that it was an even better ending than Toy Story 3. There are a lot of laughs, as expected, but there's also a lot of emotional weight and depth to Toy Story 4 more than we've ever seen before, and I couldn't take my eyes off the screen. Toy Story 4 is just as packed with action set pieces, comedy, and great story beats as much as the other three, but the depth in which the writers dove into our main characters really hits home. Toy Story 4 focuses on our favorite sheriff, Woody as he struggles to find a place in the world of his new kid, Bonnie. However, Bonnie isn't as interested in Woody as Andy was, and like the original Toy Story, Woody has been replaced, not only as a toy that Bonnie doesn't want to play with, but also as the leader of the toys. Throughout Woody's whole life, he has been the caretaker for his kid and the leader of the toys, and he wants to continue with that role. But now that he no longer has Andy and his purpose in life is fulfilled, he can't handle it, as he doesn't know what his new purpose is going to be. He just can't let go of it, and Andy, for that matter, and makes it his new purpose in life to risk life and limb at every turn to save Bonnie's new favorite toy, Forky, so that she can be happy, just as Andy was with him. My twin brother Tom, whose favorite character is Buzz, we basically grew up with me being Woody and him being Buzz. I love cowboy stuff, he loves space stuff. He came up with a great hypothesis in that the Toy Story franchise is about being a parent or a grandparent. It is especially apparent with Woody. When you look at the characteristics and actions Woody has throughout the films, he's always trying to make sure everyone, and especially his kid, is safe and happy. And when things get out of control, he is always the one trying to come up with a plan and to lead the rescue team to control it and bring back his kid and the team to the status quo of the situation. And he does exactly that in this movie. Forky goes astray as he throws himself in the back of an RV that Bonnie's dad rented for a road trip. Woody, of course, jumps into action and is thrown off the RV. This little excursion leads to a much bigger adventure in which Woody is reunited with the girl that got away, Bo Peep. Now, I was apprehensive at first when I saw the design and the plans that were reported, saying that Bo Peep was always a hero from the very beginning, which there was no evidence for in the films before this film. But at the beginning of Toy Story 4, we get two explanations for her character's purpose and absence. We see a flashback to when Bo plays a pivotal part in a rescue. She thinks on her toes and takes action supporting Woody. Annie Potts is able to blend the old Bo we knew into a more improved and three-dimensional one that is still believable within the Toy Story world and not just a convenient use of a strong female character, which is a widely popular trope that is used in filmmaking today. Once the relationships with each of the main characters and their emotional struggles are established, we are introduced to new characters like Gabby Gabby, played by Christina Hendricks, and Giggle McDimples, played by Allie Mackey, who completely fit inside the Toy Story toy box. Gabby Gabby in particular, as the film's villain, is refreshing as she brings a new sense of what a villain can be in these films, as well as being seen as the other, the outsider. And Toy Story 4 tells us that we have to look at the other and recognize that you recognizing them as the outsider or other, they feel the pain that we wouldn't want to feel if we were in their shoes. And we have to empathize with them to see how we can work together. 
the rest of the cast is pitch perfect, as per usual. Tom Hanks becomes Woody once again and really brings his A-game, like the one we have seen in films like Big and Apollo 13. His emotional depth and range really shows through here. Tim Allen still maintains that innocence around Buzz, even though we have seen him grow so much throughout the series, and we even get to see how he operates without Woody at his side. It's truly amazing how far Pixar and CGI has come since the original Toy Story came out in 1995, when the medium of animation and film was changed forever. Just look at this comparison. The way we see our favorite toys and the places they interact in is truly revolutionary in Toy Story 4. At some points in the film, there were things that looked so real. It was the best CGI I've ever seen. There was so much detail in every shot. In the inside of an antique store, carnival lights, the cat that's in the trailer, rain, shadows, and even down to Woody's fingertips. It was all so detailed, and the lighting was gorgeous. Toy Story 4 hit me really hard emotionally. Not just because it is the closure of a story that I have loved and cared deeply about for years, but it's because the characters that have been there for me explored the emotions that I felt when I sought out the Toy Story films for comfort, rejuvenation, and hope for the future. Toy Story 4 runs the gambit of what makes a great film great for its action sequences, moral lessons, drama, comedy, all of the emotions and actions a human goes through and feels throughout their entire lives in just one film. I highly recommend that you see it as soon as you can.